Are you tired of feeling tired? Do you have trouble losing weight? Are you at risk for chronic diseases? If so, the sugar in your diet may be to blame. In this video, I'm going to talk about the harmful effects of sugar on mitochondria. Mitochondria are the powerhouses of our cells, and they're responsible for producing energy. When mitochondria are damaged, they can't produce as much energy, which can lead to fatigue, weight gain, and a number of other health problems. I'm also going to talk about how to protect your mitochondria from damage. By following a few simple tips, you can improve your mitochondrial health and reduce your risk of developing chronic diseases. So, if you're ready to learn more about the harmful effects of sugar on mitochondria and how to protect your health, then keep watching. This video may cause you to never want to eat sugar again. If you are not ready to make that change, Please pause this video and get your last dose of sugar before I reveal some very interesting information. The more aware you are of what sugar does, the less you will want to consume it. I watch people all the time consuming massive amounts of sugar, and I can't help but wonder how they can do it. It's because they are not aware of the effects of sugar on their bodies. We all know that sugar can cause weight gain, dental decay, fatty liver, high cholesterol, acne, high blood pressure, increased candida infections, and a lowered immune system. But there are some other things that you may not know about the effects of sugar. Deep inside your body, sugar can cause inflammation, which can lead to a number of chronic diseases, including heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and cancer. Sugar can also damage your brain and nervous system, leading to problems with memory, mood, and cognitive function. If you want to improve your health, it is important to reduce your intake of sugar. The American Heart Association recommends that women consume no more than 25 grams of added sugar per day and men consume no more than 36 grams per day. Added sugar is any sugar that is not naturally present in foods, such as table sugar, corn syrup, and honey. There are many ways to reduce your sugar intake. You can start by reading food labels carefully and choosing foods that are low in added sugar. You can also try to eat more whole foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, which are naturally low in sugar. Making changes to your diet can be difficult, but it is worth it for your health. Reducing your intake of sugar can help you lose weight, improve your blood sugar control, and reduce your risk of chronic diseases. Mitochondria and disease. Our cells contain tiny structures called mitochondria, which are responsible for producing energy. When mitochondria are damaged, it can lead to a number of diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, type 3 diabetes, kidney disease, liver disease. There are many things that can damage mitochondria, but one of the most common is sugar. When we eat sugar, it is broken down into glucose, which is then used by the mitochondria to produce energy. However, too much sugar can overload the mitochondria and damage them. Refined carbohydrates, such as starches, breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, pancakes, and muffins, can also damage mitochondria. This is because they are quickly broken down into sugar. In the United States, most sugar is made from beets, and most beets grown in the United States are genetically modified, GMO. GMO beets are often treated with herbicides, which can also damage mitochondria. If you want to protect your mitochondria and reduce your risk of disease, it is important to limit your intake of sugar and refined carbohydrates. You should also eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, which are low in sugar and high in antioxidants that can help protect mitochondria. Here are some additional tips for protecting your mitochondria. Get regular exercise. Exercise helps to improve mitochondrial function. Get enough sleep. Sleep is essential for mitochondrial repair. Manage stress. Stress can damage mitochondria. Avoid smoking. Smoking damages mitochondria. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet is essential for overall health including mitochondrial health. By following these tips, you can help to keep your mitochondria healthy and reduce your risk of disease. The harmful effects of sugar on mitochondria. 
Sugar is a major source of energy for our cells. However, too much sugar can damage mitochondria, which are the tiny structures in our cells that produce energy. There are two main types of sugar, glucose and fructose. Glucose is the main type of sugar that our cells use for energy. Fructose is found in fruits and honey, but it is also added to many processed foods, such as soda, candy, and baked goods. When we eat too much fructose, it is converted to fat in the liver. This can lead to fatty liver disease, which can damage mitochondria. Mitochondria are also damaged by free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can damage cells. Free radicals are produced when we eat processed foods, smoke cigarettes, or are exposed to environmental toxins. So here are the tips again. Eat a healthy diet. A healthy diet includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods are low in sugar and high in antioxidants, which can help protect mitochondria. Exercise. Exercise helps to improve mitochondrial function. Get enough sleep. Sleep is essential for mitochondrial repair. Manage stress. Stress can damage mitochondria. By following these tips, you can help to keep your mitochondria healthy and reduce your risk of developing chronic diseases. Thanks for watching.